All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of Duelist. So, we had an issue yesterday, you know, too, with OBS. Great. I'm not sure if it's OBS or Contagia or what, but for some reason there was no background sound, no music, no nothing, which is odd. Because when I'm checking OBS, it says that it's there. It's recording, you know? Uh, it should be recording my desktop sounds, which is the game, you know? When I use it to record live streams with a guest person is there, it records their voice when I'm doing podcasts. Uh, for Dragon Ball Z League, their voice is there, so I don't know what the hell happened with Legacy of the Duelist in the background sound. I apologize. And I'm just happy that I'm having all these technical difficulties, but you know what? At least the video quality was okay. Uh, so, hopefully I fixed the issue. I changed the setting to, instead of just default, to the actual sounds that I hear in my headphones, which is the game sound, so hopefully that helps. Hopefully that works. So, we're going to be moving on with some more Legacy of the Duelist. So, uh, seems like today we're gonna be playing as Joey dueling against Weevil, playing with a parasite, I guess. I don't know. I believe he dueled against Rex Raptor, but I don't remember Joey ever dueling against Weevil, so maybe they're just gonna catch up with all times. I don't remember this episode, but definitely the next one's the big one, you know, where I'm gonna be getting that slifer, so. I don't know. Let's go ahead and just do this filler shit. Huh. As the tournament continued, Joey was challenged by Weevil Underwood, but what Joey didn't know was that Evil was using his underhanded tricks again. We will slip a card into Joey's deck to make sure that none of Joey's strategies would work. Well said, this fair and square with the duel. All right, let's do this. <laughs> That's fine with me, but we'll duel for two locator cards. That's if you even have to. Yugi squashed this creepy little bug the first time they squared off in Duel's Kingdom. Now I guess it's my turn to do the same. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't remember Joey ever dueling against uh, uh, Weevil. It's time to duel! Alright, so... That was a really quick introduction. They just kind of hopped right into it. So, uh... Playing as Joey, dueling against Weevil. And... Is this... Did he put, like, a parasite in Joey's deck? I really don't remember this episode. Like, I really don't remember this show. Like, like I, it's been a cool minute since this show. Oh, yep, good old Joey. You know what? At least I got, uh... Time Wizard and the Baby Dragon, so I can at least go into my, uh... My Thousand Dragon, right? Yeah, so that's the thing. What do you do? Once a turn during your end phase, you can change the battle position of this card. Woo! Wow! Wow, isn't this card freaking great? Well, I'm just gonna take it slow for now. At least it has an 18 booty. Its stats aren't terrible, but, I mean, like, really? Like, I can change its battle position. So I guess I'm supposed to attack with it, and then turn to defense mode. I guess that's it, with my 18 booty. That That's it, that's it. Okay, that, I get it, but, meh. Meh. <laughs> So, of course, Howling Insect. Alright, so you're going to turn all the monsters to insects, which I guess is fine. So, uh, like I said, I have Jinzo, so. So, wait, wait. So, I, so the duel that I get, that Joey gets Jinzo already happened? Did it? I mean, that's kind of an important one. So, we'll go ahead and fuse these two. So, are you going to, like, super poly? I said I could go ahead and tribute some in this for um for uh for Jinzo. But for now I think I'll just go ahead and turn to attack this and attack he'll float twice. Which is just great. Don't want him to do that, but he will. Oh, what does this card do? Uh when this card is done, you can spend someone from your hand. Oh. Uh okay. So, uh, I mean, you don't float. So, just another pinch hopper for another pinch hopper. Like, alright, I guess. Now, the question is, should I actually tribute for this? Like I said, I have a feeling that we will have some kind of plan. So, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and summon Jinzi now, which will, of course, lock down his DNA surgery and we won't be insects anymore. Yep. Because he wouldn't activate it if he didn't have some kind of plan with it, right? And I feel like Rodeki's me or Dark Holes me, like, right now, that would suck real bad. Wow. He wants to take the damage to float into his queen. Alright. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And he pays this card to charge into my battle, specimen token. So, he took all that damage just to do that for what? Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't like that. My monsters are still stronger than you. Oh, well, I mean, I guess even. Yeah, I'll crash. Yeah, I'll crash. And attack. Wow. 
I could have just attacked with uh, this and gotten a 24. Like, you took 14 to summon her to not do much of anything. So, that's how does this go off? Do I does it just act, ask me if I want to do it during my end phase, I guess? Yeah. So, turn in defense mode. 18 booty is better than 14 attack, and I can always change my battle position later. So I guess the plan was to have Xeno Surgery and make us all insects, in which his his queen would gain attack by 200 for each insect on the field, including my monsters. But yeah, Jinzo was like, nah, I don't think so. So, <laughs> so this will go to attack, battle, Jinzo. Oh, okay. So, when it's destroyed a battle, it returns to the top of the deck, which means that, yeah, it's, he's like he's constantly getting the monster, but he's constantly drawing the same monster. It's not like Sinister Serpent, where, you know, during the stammer phase, he gets it from the grave right adds it to his hand, you know? So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. So, if that's what you want to do, uh, Weevil. That's what you want to do. Yep, back to defense mode. Yeah, and it's just like, you know, like I kill it, you draw into the same exact thing over and over again, like, is it really worth? Can I check the log? I, it's not like Wadjo Pro where I can, like, check the log. I don't remember the stats of that monster. I might be able to end the door now. <coughs> same monster? Yeah. Let's see, I'm, I'm gonna make his, uh, his stats were that high, so I guess this is it. So, GG, well, that was, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> Like, your best play was even kind of lackluster. Like, you didn't even touch me, like. <laughs> Welcome to Losers Field, Weevil. Population, you. I, I, I lost. I, ah, uh, uh, but, but, wait, wait. <laughs> Alright, Weevil, cough him up. Your insect queen and two locator cards. Have mercy. Mercy? You should have thought of that before you decided to cheat. You know, just like, at Duelist Kingdom, you're out of the turn. Did he cheat? I... He didn't seem like he cheated against me, you know. I just countered his play. Obviously, I want to use DNA Surgery, turn this all into insects, and use his queen to gain attack off of everybody being insect. But Jinzo was like, uh, no, negate that trap. We're not insects, so rip on that. <laughs> wow, that was a quick one. It definitely was. So, uh, you know what? You know what? Let's go ahead and just do the next duel as well, since that was such a quick one. So, uh, to make up for yesterday being late and this one being short, let's just go ahead and do two. So, oh, look at them Egyptian god cards. Look at that, the legacy of the dude's little stamp and uh, card art, so nice. <laughs> Merrick was in possession of two of the Egyptian, two of three of the Egyptian god cards, but he still needed the Millennium Puzzle to bring out his plan together. Suddenly, Yugi found himself being challenged by a duelist named Strings. I, I don't know what voice to give Strings. Yugi! Prepare to duel and lose your puzzle. Oh, I guess it's it's Merrick. Merrick! Meet my slave, Strings the Quiet One. Thanks to the power of the Millennium Rod, you shit how <laughs> he shall defeat you. Coward! <laughs> Why should I waste my time when I can duel you through my mind puppets? Being <laughs> Battling with the power of the Millennium Rod is no different than using your puzzle to duel. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. That's not true. You force your children to do your dirty work by taking control of their minds against their will. I do with respect and honor and pushing little Yuki out the way and doing all the duels because I'm fucking Yuki and I'm the best and fuck him, I'm the star of the show. <laughs> Merrick, make your move. All right, so once again, just a quick, you know, no wonder the last one was so quick. The intro and the out for that last one was so quick. And this one, too, just really quick. It's just hop it right into the duel. So beat him and uh, get my uh, get my slifer. I mean, spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm long at spoilers, you know? What is that like? Uh, what would you call spoilers? Like 10 years? 5 years? I don't know. Uh, 10 is not terrible. It's not great either. Oh, they asked me if I want to activate uh, uh, hand destruction. I probably won't even play it. Like, to tell you the truth, I probably won't even play it. So I'm just going to go ahead and set him and end my turn. I contribute to him for Dark Magician Girl, a giant true nade, which is not the greatest card, but I mean, it's still great, but then it's still not, you know? Wow, one day apiece. Wow, and straight into the poly. Alright. Yeah. 
Hey, that's actually not bad. Yeah, you don't take any damage. I forgot that he had all, like, the jam revival slime cards and stuff. I kind of forgot that he had those. So what does this do? Drop the monster you control, destroy the first target, and then give the second target to your... Oh, okay. Maybe that's 15? Ugh. Ugh. I kind of don't want to activate this card. I can't even activate this card because my you send then draw, but my opponent has no cards in hand, so this card's like dead right now. Like I said, I could summon Dark Magician Girl, but it's weaker than Humanoid Slime. I'm thinking what I'm thinking that I could do is activate. What's this talk? It's time with monster on your side of full bet damage to your opponent, but since I'm carving top of their deck, like, uh, uh, who cares? You know? I have to eat this, give this to him, and pop this, which of course is stronger than I can summon a uh, Feral Limp and attack over the Big Shield Gardener. But still, I mean, he still has his, uh, his revival jam, which is still stronger than me, so. So, I'll pop that and give you this. Like, a lot of my cards are just kind of meh. Oh, so I had to attack into you instead. Yep, yep. Had to attack in the units that great. So this duel is going out fantastic. <laughs> I might even lose the strings just cause. <laughs> no. 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 Oh wow, Andy had called the haunted too? So really, I just need to get something that's stronger than frickin' 15 and I'll be okay, but I'm not sure what Yugi has in his frickin' deck that is stronger than 15 off a normal summon. It's mostly like fucking like, Celtic Guardian and shit like that. Yeah, I thought so. No. You know what, I'm just gonna activate it now, because I'm gonna return it to my hand anyway. The sad thing is that I can do giant grenade, but then he would still just be fine, you know? Yeah, summon skull, great. There's still not much to do right now. You know, I can set him back a turn. Yeah, and then I guess I can activate this. The best I got right now. I'm gonna pitch Dark Magician Girl and this, because fuck that card. I already kept the call haunted, and I drew into shit that I really can't play. Awesome. Awesome. So. Great. Great. This is, this is, this is, this duel's going great. Great. <laughs> I'm driving into fucking shit. Come on, man. I believe in the heart of the cards. Like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I'm drawing into shit. I need, like, Monster Born. It's like, literally, Monster Born. Yeah. But now I get Monster Reborn, but then I lost my, uh... Wait, no, no, because I could just Monster Reborn and summon Skull, so we're still good. But now I can't get over my fucking um, Big Shield card now. <laughs> no, a set card's called Haunted. I mean, yeah, called the Haunted, at least. So I guess I'll go ahead and just summon back Dark Magician. Reach that's 15. It's not terrible. So pretty much I need a double attack, because I need to attack, turn into battle position, and then attack again, so. Actually, might not have been best. The opponent select this card and attack, the opponent cannot select this card at the attack target while they control these sort of traps, blah blah blah. And, uh, pitch damage, so I guess I'll just kill you now. Yeah, 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 Dark Magician attack, I got it. So my own Big Shield Gardener is fucking with me. So, next turn. Which, as I said, this isn't going to survive. It's not. Because if I attack it now, it'll just turn... I'll take damage, it'll turn to... Uh, it's battle position and turn back. He could activate the Call of the Haunted and then summon his Fusion Monster back. Because I know this is Call of the Haunted. Or he can get Pot of Greed. Alright. Yeah. Or he can summon Slifer back. Oh, shit. I'm dead. <laughs> 
Oh, I was like, oh, he could call it a hunt to the shit. But no, I made him pitch fucking Slifer with uh, the card destruction and the hand destruction. So he got in the graveyard and killed me. Like, awesome. Yeah, skip. Like, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> fucking Slifer, man. You fucking traitor. I was like, I was like, oh, you can't spread someone else. like, yeah, you can. It'd just be dur dead during the end phase. But who cares? Cause it's gonna get me right there. Like, all my life points are just gone. Ugh. <laughs> Nah, this open hand. Yeah. It really is. Card summon, you can add one. Let me back your hand. Okay. I don't like this opening hand. I don't. <sighs> like, I have some card for him, but oh, like, if he just pulls off that fusion again. Like, he keeps making me go first, and I don't want to go first. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. Card of safe return. Yep. Well, guess who's getting spell shattering, shattering arrowed right now? No. No. You know what? Fine. Activate it. Just so you'll stop asking me. Get out of here. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and set the Karibo, turn this to attack, and attack over him. And next turn, I can hopefully tribute the Karibo for this. They constantly change these decks, and I don't like what they did to this deck. <laughs> Alright, yay, one day. Mm-hmm. Why are this card stat so fucking low? Like, it really doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, this card stats are so fucking low. It's a it's fucking a level five. Like, what the fuck? Go. Like, Yugi, take this shit out of your deck. Take this shit out. It's ass. It's ass, my boy. It's ass. Summon that, and I can, of course, add. It's not bad. I think that might be game. Cause this is a nice. Well, I don't think it's game yet. It's a nice chunk of damage, though. Attack. Attack. If this was stronger, I mean, if it was stronger for a fucking level five. Like it should. Like maybe its stat should be flipped around. Like why is it? 1400 attack, 1800 defense for a level 5. Like, it should at least be 1800 attack, 1800 defense. Fuck yeah. Like, that's are terrible for a level 5. Like, holy crap. Mm hmm. Well, there's Dark Magician. Oh. Uh, I really can't end this duel right now. It kind of sucks. Uh, unless this attack goes through. So I'd have to... Hopefully he doesn't have a mirror force. So everybody can get this attack in and go for game. Because if these two attack, that's uh, 3,000. So that should be game. Or 28. Math is wrong. Wow, all he's got is drinks. Once again, like hey, Some duels you open up the tits and some duels you open up ass. It's just the way of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. He had called the haunted. So, no, we knew we would get over that one drink anyway. Nope, I'm done for now. Another call to Haunted. Alright. Ah, uh, no, nah, but wait, you can just catch this mirror force, how about that? You can catch me outside, how about that? Is that game strength? Is, are we done? Just enter battle. Attack for game. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's over. I win. It 
can Oh, it's actually American time. It can't be! How could I lose an, <laughs> with an Egyptian god card in my deck? Uh, because you never summoned it this day? I mean, first game, that, that was a pretty spicy play that you did there, Mac. But this time, nah. Yo, Peggy, you may have defeated Cypher, but I hold another Egyptian god, a much more powerful one. So savor this victory while you can, for it will be your last. Wow, another quick ending again, so. Yay, got that. Hey, I got this. That card is safe return, though. Woo! Fuck, fuck Slifer, I got a card to safe return. Now that's a much more broken card. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, we are done here when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Lexia Duelist for this weekend, so of course we'll be back next weekend. Hopefully it got the uh, issues fixed with uh, OBS and and Cantasia and all that. Like, ugh, I just, sometimes I don't understand. So hopefully you get some background sound. If not, I apologize once again. And I guess OBS is, doesn't want to record the background sound. But I guess something is better than nothing. I don't know. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. That uh, subscribe button, uh, like button, bell for notifications. And I will see you guys next time with some more uh, Let's Play Legacy of Doors and Cat Course 5 and all the other content on the channel. All right, thanks for watching.